Hello, uh, welcome to the next lesson. Uh, today we're going to cover the topic how to make the custom displacement shader using the 3D noise function and geometry shader. Why we actually need the geometry shader? Using traditional way we have no chance to calculate the proper normals or at least it's very complicated. So using geometry shader we can do it very easily and achieve very nice look. So I find this example quite practical and uh, there is also not so much information in internet how to use the geometry shader so I hope it will be helpful for you. So we take as a basis the uh, project from the last lesson. So if we take our PBR material and click on output shader button we can find there is a small parameter here called include geometry shader so if i click on this button it will output the shader code completely corresponding to the current state of shader i click on ok button and then i receive some new objects here so let's take a look what we have now we have a vertex shader a geometry shader and a pixel shader vertex shader cares about the transformation of points from local subspace to the camera projection space that's uh, say it with simpler words means that all vertices of geometry are moved are transformed that also means we can add some additional transformation with no performance cost that's very powerful possibility so let's first start with that and add some noise deformation to the geometry on a vertex shader stage for that i click on edit contents and text board so i don't use now any special uh, shader editor and so let's take a closer look what we have here so uh, the vertex shader constructed like a touch designer node let's make imaginary comparison that all soap variables like p like n for normals like cd for colors if we have that are coming from the sub context and transform it and pass it later to the next shader stage in this case to geometry shader stage using out vertex structure this out vertex structure is kind of output of the node so it's similar to what happens in touch designer at nodes output but we can define what kind of data coming here out by hand or writing uh, particular information we want to output that's just a bit of theoretical information so uh, what we receive now from the SOP we receive CD we receive normals and we receive point position and using TDD form function uh, local SOPs point position are transformed to the vault space uh, this function also includes the instances transformation so this is a very powerful function the same for the normals there is a special td deform norm function and for colors is td instance color so that includes all things we can change in instances for colors in this part of uh, user interface okay so now we have to add a noise and for that we will need the normals so I will move this line of code before or precisely after the point transformation and add some free space here so okay then if we take a closer look that 
p is transformed using tdd form function and saved to world space position variable and th then this variable is passed to OpenGL GL position variable. So in order to add some additional transformation, we need to write it before this statement. So I will go here and add some lines of code. First, I want to sample cd simplex, no uh, simplex noise function using current point position. And I want to save the results to the float noise variable. Float noise is equal td simplex noise from p then in order to add this noise transformation i want to save it to world space pos dot x y z because we only deforming xyz coordinates plus equal which means use the original world space position and add some value then plus equal world space norm which is also vector free multiplied by noise okay we don't see anything because we have to apply this shader so i apply the shader to the geometry and we see that all geometry is deformed cool what we need to do else first we see that it's deformed but normals stays the same like before deformation that's the problem what we want to solve secondary we want also to be able to control the frequency and amplitude of noise let's first solve a second problem so we're going to the vector uniforms which are actually kind of shader interface to touch designer side so if we want to control something inside of shader outside of code from touch designer we have to add a variables here or parameters so let's make a parameter called freq and a parameter called amp for amplitude then we have to declare these variables inside of vertex shader that's done using following syntaxes uniform let's take a vector free for frequency and finish it with semicolon so now shader knows about this variable here and uniform float amp and let's define the next variable also for the animation of noise so we want to make some offset so I will make offset and let it make it also vector free. Offset. And now we can multiply point position by frequency, add some offset and multiply the results by the amplitude that will be the full controllable noise transformation inside of vertex shader and now we can check if it's working so let's start from amplitude so we can reduce the power of noise we can play with frequency we can also control a components of frequency separately which is very cool and we can also play with offset and make with this noise animatable so preferable way to animate the z direction of offset which is going on direction from camera so i will write here the apps time dot seconds multiplied by 0 0.1 
so and we have a noise slowly animated okay that was the deformation in the vertex shader and in next lesson we're going to cover how to adjust normals after the deformation in the geometry shader